Here were the horses for race number 10, the Hayes Memorial, second division for trotting two-year-old colts and geldings. One is Magnetic Power, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario. John Johnson trains and drives. 1A, Momone Hanover. Owned also by Bob Waxman. John Johnson, the trainer, with Bernie Lindstedt getting the call. Two, Natural Arrogance, owned by Steve Brown of Lexington. Steve Waller trains and drives. Three, Living Image, owned by Living Image Stable of Versailles, Kentucky. Ron Gerfine, the trainer, with Mike Lachance. Four, Chipmate, owned by Christian Tactor of Allentown, New Jersey. Kenneth Ross of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Jimmy Tactor, the trainer and driver. Five, Personal PC, owned by Jim Wheeler, by Fairwinds Farm, Inc., and Lindy Racing Stable, Florida, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Chuck Sylvester Trains, John Campbell will drive, and number six, Pro Tip, owned by Kentuckiana Racing Stable and Brian Pinsky Stable of Kentucky and Illinois. Pinsky Trains, Andy Miller in the bike. Now that field of seven at the post, the gate is rolling. Hayes Memorial, two year old trotters in behind, and here they come. They're often trotting, firing from the outside. Momone Hanover inside him. Pro Tip gouts out well. Down on the inside, Living Image with him. Those three fight for the lead early, and it's going to be Living Image by a length, but he's off stride. Living Image has made a break, and now Momone Hanover will be, will be the leader as they sweep off the turn toward the quarter mile mark. Momone Hanover takes over on the outside, dropping out of the picture. Off stride goes Living Image, racing second now as they drive toward the quarter mile mark as Pro Tip behind him, third, Natural Arrogance, trotting four. Is personal PC racing five as they drive past the quarter. Is magnetic power. They're racing down the back stretch. Front panel 28 2. They're headed toward the half mile mark. As they head that way, racing six down the uh, back stretch is Chipmate. And now the trailer is Living Image. Field being led momentarily by a neck by Bo Moment, Nay Hanover, but on the outside pressure being applied by Natural Arrogance and Steve Waller. Third covered all the way is Pro Tip. They've just reached the half. On the outside, Natural Arrogance on the inside, Mo Monet Hanover. The half, 56-3. They're into the final turn. Trotting third right there is Pro Tip racing four. As they enter the turn is Personal PC. Trotting behind him five is Magnetic Power. As they trot toward the three-quarter mile station, racing six is Chipmate. And trailing the field of trotters after a break early is Living Image. Trotting toward three quarters with the lead by a length again is Mo Monet Hanover on the outside. Natural Arrogance is there. And now tipped out coming three wide with trot. Here's Magnetic Power sweeping. They're at the three quarter, 126-2. Top of the lane, they turn for home. Mo Monet Hanover has it his way. Coming on his stable mate, Magnetic Power. As they drive through the lane toward the wire, Mo Monet Hanover. Natural Arrogance is fading. Moving up as they race this way. Through the lane is Personal PC. Personal PC now second, and the leader is Mo Monet Hanover. Personal PC is uh, in the chase. He's third. Racing on the outside, Magnetic Power is second. The battle will be for second. Mo Monet Hanover wins it. It'll be handily Personal PC second over Magnetic Power. Fourth in that one to Pro Tip, finishing five. Final check, Natural Arrogance. Six was Chipmate, and the trailer is Living Image. 156-4. Big trip, Mo Monet Hanover. He's one-fifth off the national season's record in that one. One-fifth off the national season's mark. New record for him. He won the Illinois State Fair. He's won here in the Hayes Memorial. So, winner of both the review and the Hayes, Mo Monet Hanover, in just a moment, into DuCoin's victory lane. For a number of years, Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, has been one of the leading owners in the sport of harness racing. He's been the number one owner several times by purses one, and always one of the most active buyers of yearlings. And he has been rewarded for his expertise in choosing a yearling of 2000, now a winner of 2001. 
Moving into the victory lane at the DuCoin State Fair, the very good balanced image colt from Monet Blue Chip by Sir Taurus. Now three times a winner and only four starts. Certainly he, one of the colts to be reckoned with in all of the major races, Mo Monet Hanover. Presentation of the race trophy, the Hayes Memorial, made this time by Jane Hayes Raider. I'm sorry, Jane uh, made the previous presentation. It's Carol this time. Carol, who enjoyed a trip in the starting gate for this race. The daughter of Don and Ruby. It's Carol Hayes Hill. She lives right here in DuCoin with her husband, Norman. Norman, the groundskeeper here at the DuCoin State Fair. So our thanks to Carol for representing her family. Congratulations, Bob Waxman, for the outstanding two-year-old who won both of the Grand Circuit stops here in the Midwest. And there he is, Mo Monet Hanover and Bernie Lindstedt. John Johnson trains the Hanover-bred two-year-old, Bernie Lindstedt, who spends time both in Sweden and the U.S. during the summer.